the golf day this morning, we started off with the ceremonial opening of the golf day by the Chancellor because this is the Chancellor fundraising event and this is the Chancellor's day basically. So we started off with the tee off uh, with golf at 11, the official tee off, and uh, we finished, the, the last players finished at about half past four and then there was a prize giving. We had beautiful prizes. Today we had more than 100 players. We have been having the golf day uh, for, this is the fourth year, and for the first time in four years that we have had more than 100 players and um, golfers. And we really, really appreciate and very grateful with the support we have received from the golfing community. And seven now, give me 8,000 now, you're 8,000 now, 9,000 served. And 9,000 ran now. And 9,000 ran now, you're 9,000 lost. And now 9,000 on the and now currently we are at Hemingways, we are having the Galatina, fundraising Galatina, an evening, evening full of activities as well. We will be having an auction where we auction um, heritage items, specifically from the Eastern Cape, handmade by the women of the Eastern Cape. This is the Women's Man. It's important for people to support the university, especially donors, funders. What, what is the reason? What's, what's the value proposition for them to invest at the University of Fort Hare, whether it's in the form of bursaries, whether it's in the form of infrastructure investments, research chairs, research funding, whatever. And the reason is simple, is that we have a track record as a university. We've produced uh, professionals for 108 years now, and that's the one thing that we've produced for the continent. But more than that, we are now on an upward trajectory on our renewal, based on our renewal uh, kind of uh, uh, project. We took a decision four years ago to go through a renewal project for the university to uproot, to uproot uh, corruption, to uproot fraud, to make sure that all our qualifications are of solid integrity, to stabilize the institution, get rid of all forms of protest that disrupt teaching and learning and research. And we're succeeding, and we've succeeded. Uh, one, one investor recently, one shot, one shot donated 12.5 million towards a research chair. One shot, it's an international company uh, that has roots in South Africa. And since then, we've had indications from many others. And, and so my invitation to anyone who wishes to uh, invest in higher education in South Africa, the, Fort Hale, uh, the University of Fort Hare is that place that place that will give you value for money. We are managing more than 100 million of funds and we use Sunlam currently as a fund manager to, to manage those funds into different uh, portfolios, whether it's cash, equities, property. And we have quarterly board meetings where they tell us how the assets are performing and we have to discuss with them if we think they could invest them uh, somewhere else. Part of the things that we do is that uh, we are giving bursaries to 220 students annually. We are also doing uh, with the, for the graduates the 50 scholarships and the retention rate uh, and absorption rate in the corporate sector is 20% for them. We've also developed the career center uh, on campus We've got the laboratory equipment that we are buying as well, and we are also providing them with laptops. So as I had said, there are a lot of things that we do. Also for those with disabilities, we are providing them with equipment so that they can be able to access the facilities and uh, access the opportun educational opportunities at the university.